Hello. Happy Friday. Get under my blanket. You guys, today's one of those days where I just cannot get warm. Oh, I got home from the f food pantry and I made a cup of coffee like I was 90. I am like, it's freezing. It's so cold. Ah! How's everybody's Friday doing? Are you so excited that it's a long weekend for a lot of people? That's super awesome. Hi, Ashley. Okay. Okay, guys. I want to um, take a couple minutes on my episode of Fun Friday. And I want to talk to you about something that we don't do enough of anymore. Um, that is a genius way to grow your business and it's super duper duper fun. Okay. I want to talk to you guys about parties. We have been talking a ton over the last couple months about pop-ups, right? Getting those in businesses, getting those just around. Um, but I today want to talk about the old school home party. Okay. Now I know that that's like a dirty word for some of you that you're like, it makes you cringe. Like, Oh gosh, I wouldn't even know what to say. I wouldn't know what to do. Oh my gosh, that's so scary. But I want to tell you guys something. When I got started in this business, um, I was like two or three days into my business. Like I just brand spanking new. Um, Trista was like, okay, we're going to do a party. Like you're going to just invite some friends and family over. I'm going to come over and we're going to have a party. And I was like, oh, okay. So literally I gave people like two days notice. Okay. Which I think a lot of times is better. Um, Trista was fairly new too. So it wasn't like she had all these products and that she knew exactly what she was doing, but what she did was she grabbed another teammate. Okay. Um, two fairly new teammates came to my house. Clearly I'm like two days into the business and we had a party and you guys that night, two, three days in the business, I charted for Ruby. Okay. And I had an amazing party, amazing volume. Um, but what it did that night was it taught me that, um, it taught me a lot about the products, okay, because I was, I was able to sit there and listen to her talk about the products, right, and I was able to just kind of hear testimonies and, and, and see before and afters and things I had not seen, products I didn't even know existed, um, but what happened that night also was that my friends and family who, you know, were absolutely skeptical, um, they got a real taste of what I had my hands on, and I honestly think that helped um, kind of build that support system for me from the get-go. So a lot of you who are kind of struggling with that, like, well, I don't have supportive friends or family or nobody has any money and that kind of that kind of thing. I really, really, really dare you. Like, I urge you to try to, to do a home party, okay? Now, here's, here's what I know about these, okay? You guys, there's nothing better than getting in, in, getting face-to-face -face in front of people, letting them see your excitement, letting them taste and smell products. There's literally nothing like it. I could have a conversation with somebody for months and months and months, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, but if I could get in front of them for one hour, let's say, chances are they're going to order from me or they're going to join my business. They're And more than likely, they're going to order multiple products, okay? Because what do we know is, you know, when we're posting on social media, people see what you what you post, right? So like today, let's say, you know, I post, let's say I talk about the, the Just Celery, okay? Someone sees that, they're probably going to come on and order the Just Celery, just the Just Celery, right? But if I can get them at home around a party where they can see other products, see the other things that we have, more than likely, nine times out of 10, seeing success much quicker, okay? Um, feeling a lot more confident about the products because again, you can sit there and, and the more you talk about products or the more that you get to sit and listen to somebody else talk about the products, the more your confidence builds, okay? Um, and you guys, there is literally nothing better than watching somebody walk in. And I love this. Like, I, I love when I get to do in-home parties for people because I can spot out the people that walk in thinking, like, I had to come because I have to come. But you can see the, skepti the skepticism, skepticism, like, leaking out of them, right? There is nothing better than watching that transformation from skeptic to a little bit intrigued to like, I'm all about it. Like I am, I'm in, right? Um, that is a really cool transformation and it happens every time because people don't know what we have until they see what we have. When they get to hear testimonies, when they get to hear stories, when they get to taste products, they're blown away, you guys. What we have is incredible. Um, but I think, you guys, it honestly is the quickest and most efficient way to grow a business. I did a launch party for two sisters that, that started together. And in that night, the two of them together brought in 1,500 BV, you guys. 
1500 BV. That's amazing. Now think about how long that would take one-on-one conversations or posting just, you know, just posting and having people comment or call or, you know, message you or whatever. That would take a long time to get all of those people to order from you. But in one night, there they were, right? They got to see, smell, taste, hear stories. Um, And you also are going to have a greater chance of signing distributors when you can get there face-to-face. I almost always leave a party always with loyal customers, and almost always I will leave a party having signed a distributor. Because when people can start to think about, okay, um, you know, I, I, all of these different products, and then we start to get them to think about, you know, do you have friends in your family in your life that would like to lose weight or get healthy? Do you have friends and family in your life that maybe could use an extra income? Maybe we need to think about the distributor side for you. And it's like that light bulb moment goes off, okay? Um, and you guys, they're so much fun, right? It's so much fun to get around people. Um, just to like create that like community is something that I feel like we're, we're getting more away from. Um, that's so much fun and is so essential to just grow a healthy, thriving business, right? That face-to-face interaction, there's nothing else, there's nothing better than that. But you guys, now versus even when I got started, we have so many more sippable and sampleable products um, that are super duper easy to just mix up, let people taste. Um, even if you want to throw away or throw together like some little goodie bags, um, it's it's a lot easier to do that now than I think it was even back then. Now, I know that a lot of people are hesitant to do in-home parties because they feel like they don't have products, they don't have you know, they don't, they don't have the, the big show. Here's what I know, you guys. You only need about one or two products in order to host a party. You do not have to have everything under the sun that we have. Just a couple of things for them to taste. And then and then it leaves it open to just talking about, okay, wh- what are your goals, right? Weight loss, oh my gosh. Let me tell you about a couple of our weight loss products. They're incredible. You don't have to have a bottle of Thermofite sitting right there. You don't have to have um, our carb control sitting right there in order to talk to them about weight loss, right? Um, I love having, personally, I love having catalogs. Um, if you don't have catalogs, you can, you know, all of those product information sheets are on our e-suites, right? So all you got to do is go, you can print them out, um, or even just have like a laptop or an iPad where you can kind of scroll through like what, you know, what are your, what are your, what are your goals? Oh, it's skincare. Okay. Well, here you go. Here's what we have. Pull it up on your iPad or whatever, right? You do not have to have them right there for them to hold in order to talk about those products, okay? Um, I think another fun way to kind of break that ice is maybe to partner with somebody. Doesn't have to be somebody that's an upline or downline. Maybe you have a sideline sister that lives nearby. You can be like, hey, do you want to come together? Let's let's do a party. Let's let's invite some friends and family over. Again, so much fun. You're cre- creating that community I'm locking arms to kind of build that relationship, maybe with that sideline sister. Um, But then it takes that pressure off of having to like talk and do everything on your own, right? Um, It's seriously, there's nothing better. Like it's, there's seriously nothing better. You can do this at your house, but you know, if you don't have a house that you feel comfortable inviting people over, um, maybe, maybe you live in an apartment and you want to use the clubhouse, you know, do that. Maybe you want to go to a coffee shop, right? You can do that. I have had people on our team that will seriously go and just get a big table at Panera Bread, sit down at the table with 10 other people, have some products in the middle, pass out some catalogs, have a party right then and there. Okay. It does not have to be this big entire huge shindig at your house. It can be anywhere you want to do it, okay? Now, here's what I think is important when you're hosting parties, and something that I think people miss the boat on is have is that personal invitation, okay? Hi, Ray! Um, I think a lot of times people will be like, well, I invited some people to my party, but nobody showed up. I'm like, well, did you personally invite them? No, I added them to like a Facebook event, okay? All right, so that's a great start. But you guys, personally inviting somebody, and this is this is why I think I got so many people to my very first launch party that first week that I started, was that not only did I send that in- invitation through Facebook, but then I sent every single one of those people either a Facebook message or a text message and just said, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Um, I really, really, really hope that you can join us on, on Tuesday night. Like, it would mean the world to me, right? Letting them know, like, hey, I'm counting on you, and it's going to mean a whole lot to me if you show your face. Because it's easy for somebody to look at a, maybe an invitation, let's say, on Facebook, and be like, oh, they're not even going to know that I saw it. Like, I'll just pretend I never saw it, right? But when you send that personal invitation, they're going to have a really hard time not showing up or being like, okay. Another thing sometimes that I will do is message and be like, hey, what are you doing on Tuesday night? 
Just leave it there. And they're like, nothing. Why? I'm like, oh, awesome. Like, I'm throwing a party. I'd love for you to come. It's at 7 p.m., you know, y- yada, yada, yada. Um, so make sure you're sending that that personal invitation and then following up, okay? So maybe day of the party, um, you know, message them and be like, I am so excited to see you. I seriously can't tell you enough how like how much I appreciate your support, okay? Um but bring that personal side out. So it really shows that, that you are valuing their time and that you are really excited that they are going to be joining you, okay? And that you're looking forward to actually seeing them. Um, sometimes for in-home parties, I will offer um, like letting those guests know or the people that are invited. Um, everybody that comes tonight is going to get an entry into you know my gift basket giveaway. That can be anything you want. Maybe you have a couple samples, right? Maybe you have a keto coffee sample and a collagen sample and some greens and reds, okay? Put it in a cute little bag and that's your gift basket giveaway. Um, sometimes if I have a ton of products on hand, I will tell them everybody that comes gets a sample bag. And again, maybe it's some greens and reds or an energy stick or a couple little things in a, in a little plastic bag. Um, and everybody that comes gets 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 a free sample bag. People love freebies, right? So that's another good enticing way to get people to come to a party. Um, sometimes I'll even say, you know, get an extra entry into the gift basket giveaway for every friend that you bring. That works great too, okay? But like I said, having catalogs, you can do printouts from your website, you can just have your laptop open, but do not, not host a party because you don't feel like you have enough products on hand. It simply doesn't matter, right? You just need maybe one or two things for them to taste. Um, Otherwise, it's just like sharing about what we have and asking them what their goals are. I um, actually in the file section of the team page, guys, I created this a couple years ago. It is a party. It's a guest party sheet, but basically it asks what their name is and what their goals are. And then I have that. I, here I have like what their favorite products are and any products that they would think of for their friends or family. Okay. The, the, The reason that I have that portion on there is because I want them to start thinking before the end of the party that if they have other people in their life that could use these products, then I'm going to be like, hey, I don't know if you, you know, would be interested in making some extra income, but rather than spend the $79 on your products tonight, I see that you have, you know, several products that you think your friends and family would like. Um, For an extra 20 bucks, we could sign you up as a distributor and they could be some of your very first customers. Um, So it's a good way to, to flip they're thinking from what am I going to purchase tonight to, you know, who my first customers are going to be. Okay. Um, catalogs are, um, under orders on your e-suite. They may not be on there right now because they're probably going to update. They usually update those after conference. And I think they're coming out with some, even like a way cooler, better version even, um, that will come out at conference. Um, and then I have on here, like I'm interested in, becoming a loyal customer and earning 40% off. I'm interested in earning an extra income or hosting a party to earn free products, okay? So it kind of just takes that guesswork away of what to talk about with them, how to wrap things up. Um, And then at the very bottom, I even have like what their uh, username and password is for if they sign up as a loyal customer and what their website is if they sign up as a distributor, okay? Now, like I said, guys, the thing of this is, is just getting in front of people and getting our products in front of people. Because like I said, going back and forth for months at a time, um, you know, maybe your business isn't growing as fast as you would like. But if you can get in front of people, okay, whether it's in a home, whether it's in a coffee shop, whether you are doing a pop-up, getting face-to-face to people is going to be the quickest and most efficient way for you to grow your business, okay? Working smarter and not harder. You can get, you know, 400, 500, 600 BV worth of orders in one night versus it taking you a month, month and a half to do that, right? Um, So I am daring you to host a party. Like I said, partner with maybe your sideline or upline or downline. Do these together until you feel comfortable. But I promise you, you guys, it is okay for people to ask questions. You know, if they ask you a question you don't know about a product, just say, you know what? I'm not sure. I haven't come across that yet. Let me find out for you. I'll get back to you, okay? There's no shame in that. It's totally fine, right? But just having that com- that open conversation where people are going to show up and you know when they show up, they're intending to, to, to purchase something or else they wouldn't come, right? Um, it, it seriously is just the best way to grow your business. So I am, am daring myself to get back to doing more of these parties because, again, it's working smarter and not harder. Yes, yes, yes. Proud of you, Ray. 
Um, but I think we need to get back to some of those basics, right? Like getting in front of people, having parties, getting off of our, our phones so much, um, and having that human interaction, you guys, is good for our souls. It's good for our heart, but it's really good for business too. So if you have any questions, let me know. Um, like I said, these are in the file section of the team page if you want to print those off and use those. If you have any questions, let me know. And hope you all have a fabulous, fabulous, fabulous weekend. Bye, guys.